see is pain. My people see the same. They locked us down in chains. We just praying for a change. They knocked us off the throne and stripped the earth of our names. My heritage, I claim. I just pray they do the same. Cause if they only knew that we the true Jews. If only but if they only knew that we the true Jews. If they only knew that we the true Jews. But if they only knew that we the true Jews. You saved us from Egypt and Moses was a leader. Next 40 years, angel food is what you feed us. You pass me down the law, mindset of elitist. I took a blood oath and promise my kids. See how everybody up here, they just enjoying the so-called death. It's, it's mocking God that they think they can just get away with the atrocities they've done to our people. We, we understand that everyone talk about God is a just God, right? So what would be the justice for what they've done to our people? What would you say the justice be? It, it, it gotta be bad, right? Give me um, Baruch chapter 4, verse 24. But in order to get these things, it goes back to keeping the commandments. As you said, you already know, you don't need the court or praises. We gotta let go of these idols, such as the Christian church, the zodiac signs. Like, our people are so caught up in these things that they don't understand this is what's really taken away from our God. This is really taken away from our God. I would like to, uh, you know, get your information because you understand, I appreciate you for standing here. But like you said, like the fringes and the tassels, this is part of the law. We, 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 we got to get you in contact so you can get these. Because the more of our people start coming back to God, And, 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 and we had the fridge. We had the garments on with the fridge, right? And do you know where to get fringes? Do you, you know where to get them? All right, all fringes. So, so, all right. So here's my question, right? If you knew about it, why aren't you doing it, man? And I'm all about the Lord saying to do that. Does that mean you wear your outline and blue with the fringes? You know what I'm so, but you say you knew about it. No, Why aren't you doing it? I'm just saying, man. All right, give me um. No, nah, give me Sirach five and seven because we gotta understand. Like I said, our salvation is nearer. Yeah, we know, but we can't be lollygagging about it. I ain't saying you lollygagging about it, but we have to put more of an effort to do it more quickly. You feel me? You got Sirach 5 and 7? Bring it up. The book of Sirach chapter 5 verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. As in, don't, don't, put, off to turn to, don't put off keeping the commandments, right? Don't put off day to day. H have some hurry up about yourself. And put not off day fr from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Because we understand what the, what is, the scripture says: what sin is death, right? But I don't, I don't, not mind it's, it's not a death sentence. It's, it's not a death. But it shows the problem of the But like we gotta understand though. So on our fringe, wearing our fringes. All right, yes, you're right. That is not a death sentence. That's not that's not a sin you can get put to death for. But us living continually in sin. That is what can get us death, right? So we can't, e even if it's the, even if it's the littlest commandment, we still gotta abide to it. You feel me? Keep going on that. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. Because at the end of the day, none of us know when the Most High is gonna take us. So when our time do come. We want to be able to stand confident and say, hey, I kept my laws. I kept your laws to the best of my ability. I had my fringes on. I wasn't shaking my beard. I stopped eating pork. I wasn't celebrating none of these idolatrous holidays. I was putting you first on my walk. And that, that, that's what we got to do. What free stuff you had, King? Oh, yeah. Bring, bring that up. All right. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. You see, that's what we understand. We don't want to be the least. 
and no, no, no matter what, our people should not be satisfied with being released at anything, especially when it comes to the king. So I'm not going to say, all right, you're right, I'm going to let it slide that you don't got fringes on. I have to let you know. Because I got to hold you accountable like you hold me accountable. And that's the only way our community is going to get right. As long as we don't hold each other accountable, our community is going to be the way it's in. That's why we got our chilling, game begging, and killing each other. They're, they're, they're not, it's crazy. They got, they're walking around with what I call video game games. It's a switch. They got a switch on. You just hit it one time, the whole clip gone. Video game guns. It's, it's, like, no one would have thought about that on a pistol like 20, 30 years ago. You'd be like, all right, I got to click, click, click. But because we start holding our community accountable and letting our kids, quote unquote, do whatever they want and not giving them that, that good doctrine, give me a Proverbs 4 and 2. Giving them that good doctrine, we're in a destroying state. They're not people not really getting punished the way they're supposed to. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people that's locked up right now, they're supposed to be off with. But they use people to stay incarcerated and make money off of it. You know what I mean? But a lot of people that crimes they committed, and that was back then, they would have been dead on the spot. You know what I mean? Yeah, but we, we, we had our government. Right, that's what I'm saying. That, that, that's totally, you could have got destroyed right on the spot. See, over here, they favor sin. They give rights to sin instead of really acting on it. You know, like, really, you know. Give me um, Judas 5 and 20, but. That, that's what I'm saying. It's like the punishments that people get right now. It, 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 it's it's like the government of America, the government of America want to keep the black and Hispanics in the city. And I'm going to pull a verse to show you why they want to keep us the same because ain't nothing new. I say, ain't nothing new under the sun. They understand as long as we're in sin, they can continue to be on what they own. Book of Judith, chapter 5 and verse 20. The book of Judith, chapter 5 and verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord and governor. So these are what, these are what heathens are saying. These are what the, the people who are not us, he, this is what they're saying. My, my lord, my governor, right? If there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God. When they're saying error against this people, it's talking about the Israelites. It's talking about us. That error is sin. It's sin against their God. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. It, it's going to be our ruin. Give me uh, the prayer of Azariah, verse 14. And let us go up and we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them. So if we have sin, they can come in and they can continue to be on top of us. When it says, when we stop sinning, they will no longer be able to come on top of us. They will no longer be able to overcome us. So, so what? Everybody will be a wolf. I wouldn't even necessarily say it's because everybody would be woke. It's just we stop sinning, we make our God happy, and He's gonna to want to fight and protect us. But as long as we continue to sin, it's, it's like it's like your son. If you just if you don't do what you say, he gets some type of punishment, whether it be timeout or a whooping. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, we're on our punishment right now from our father because we didn't listen to his commandments. We're, we're getting our so called, we're, we're getting on our whooping right now. Exactly. They was committing our. Yeah. In verse 14. 14, yes. This is the book of the prayer of Azariah, chapter 1, verse 14. For we, O Lord, are become less than any nation. Would you agree that our people, we're the, we're the bottom nation on this planet? But why is it, why are we the bottom nation? And be kept under this day in all the world because of our sins. It's our sins. So whether it's a little sin as in knowing we have to wear fringes but not wearing them, that, that little sin still adds on to it. So I'm just saying we got to get right. If we can't overlook something thinking, all right, this is not a sin punishable by death, so let's just skip over it. 
Because once we all get right, that's when our, that's when we can hurry up and get back on top. Because, I mean, we already set the trends for the world. We do. We're the only, think about it, right? We're the only people when they say they got God-given talent. I, I ain't never seen an Asian man with God-given talent. Have you? I ain't never heard nobody say, hey, man, that Asian man got God-given talent. Oh. But, but you hear that about, you hear about that what? Akuna Jr., LeBron James. We got, our, our, our people are filled with these God-given talents because we're the children of God. But we still got to do our part, which is Deuteronomy 10 and 12, because we still bear responsibility. You feel me? And that responsibility is going back to keeping his command. Responsibility towards ourselves and our nation. Towards ourselves, our nation, and our God. You got like a, a individual birth rate and the, the rate of our nation and of our God. So you got to keep everything elevated, cycling. You know I mean? But how do we do that? That's the question. How do we keep everything elevated and cycling? That's the information. That's the, that's the most important thing. Give me, um, hold that. Give me the book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. Because. Hold that, give me Deuteronomy 4 and 6 as well. We'll start at verse 5 and then go into 6. I, I, I agree with you. We got to pass down the right, we got to pass down our wisdom and our knowledge. We just got to pass down the right wisdom and knowledge. Because the wisdom and knowledge that majority of our people know is incorrect. It's not according to the scriptures. It's according to man tradition, you feel me? But this is the wisdom now that we got to do. Bring it up. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me. He taught us these law, statutes, and commandments, right? That ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Verse 6. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. So if we keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. This is how we pass our wisdom and our knowledge and our understanding now. By keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, teaching our children to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. And then these other people are going to understand, hey, this is a wise nation. Think about it, right? We understand this book is for us, right? People who this book isn't, the people who this book isn't for, the so-called Jewish man, right? They don't even believe in the book or follow it all the way completely. And they don't. But here, here's the crazy thing about it. They're less than 1% of the world population. But because they follow the principles of the Torah, they're on top. So, and the book wasn't for them. So imagine the, the people who the book was for, as a collective, as a nation decided to follow that, we would be on top. We would be on rank. And you see, but that's part of the law. We got to start having that. You got Baruch 4 and 1? Because like you said, we got to pass this down. We can say, we're spiritually dead right now. We're walking zombies, essentially. It's, it's enough wealthy, you know, wealthy Hispanics and blacks in the world. Exactly. We could get up out of this in one day if we wanted to, but they so... I disagree with that. Yeah, no, the, the way I say it is because um, they got a lot, it's too much distraction going on for us to even get to that point. It's like you doing, you trying to help, you know what I mean? But a lot of people just go and go and take a chance out. But right. there's a lot of wealthy people in the world. Instead of helping out, they'll, they'll do other things with their money. Right now, this is this is what this over here is what it's based on. Give me the army twenty eight sixty eight. I mean, I get what you're saying, but I disagree. Even if Kanye, Jay Z, Rihanna, all the billionaires we have in our community decide to come together and do something, well, all the wealthy even, let's just say all the wealthy people decide to come together, it's still not quote unquote going to save us. Because, because it's a prophecy. 
Bring this up. This is the book of Deuteronomy. We are Isaiah 46. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. It's not we're going to go into slavery again with ships because we understand we walked out of Egypt. The same way we have slang in our everyday terms, our forefathers sp spoke in slang. Egypt is just synonymous with slavery. Now, I'm going to bring you into slavery again with ships because... So this is like the, the second time we went into slavery. I wouldn't say this is the second time we went into I mean, slavery. I'm about the first one, the, our ancestors were in Egypt. I, I would say that, that, that I would say that'd be the uh, I, I I can kind of understand that'd be the I really, first as a I nation. You really said what? I, I really don't justify that on slavery. You don't justify it, but but who was in Egypt? Yeah, yeah. Cause I, I feel Hebrews all around they were they were like how can I say they worked. You know they had that title of building for those nations back then. Cause even even Sumerians had Hebrews with them, but we wasn't slaves to them. But they they like owners. So go to um Exodus, right? Go to Exodus one. And that, that that's the furthest you can go back. Cause that's actual food, Cause it's on the walls. You know but I mean? on the walls it shows us as being slaves, as being under. I, I wouldn't say slaves. I mean like we we was the one. We were past we were that. oppressed. Would you agree? You, you, so, so you saying the picture that you're talking about was not showing Israelites being oppressed? He, he was always built for a lot of nations. You know what I mean? I'm, like, I'm, I'm talking about the know, Israelites. I would, I would, I, yeah, I'm saying I would, yeah, Israelites were going all the way back. But time time. if we're building for other nations and we're not building for ourselves, that means we're under some type of oppression, right? Is anybody just going to build up another nation just to do it? But do you know, do you, do you understand why that happened to us? Yeah, because our ancestors committing paganism, adultery, They were sinning against God, right? The top sins. All right, do you know why they, do you know why they were led up out of Egypt? No. Do you understand why they were led up out of Egypt? Yeah, because of Moses. Because of Moses, right? And, and what covenant did the Israelites make with God? Go to Deuteronomy 28. 15, because we got to understand, if we're going through history, you're talking about you don't feel like it was an exodus because we left and ended up getting lynched and whatnot later. You got to understand, we messed up. God did what he did. We walked out of Egypt. That was, that was a miraculous salvation. That was an exodus. Then we get in the wilderness. We make, we make a covenant with our God. This is, and this is part of the covenant right here. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and statutes which I command thee this day. If we don't keep God's commandments that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. We're going to be cursed. What comes along with being those cursed? Being, being destroyed by other nations. So, yes, we had an exodus when we came out, but because we messed up, we continued in sin, that's how we keep getting put into different slaveries and different captivities. And every time, the only way to get up out of slavery or captivity is when us as a nation, not the individuals, but as a nation, come together and repent, go back to following the, our God, Yahweh's law, statute, and commandments, he sent the Savior. Give me a uh, Nehemiah 9 and 27. Because I, I understand why you would say that. Because you're like, all right, you said that's the first slavery, but we've been in slavery after that multiple times. That's because we continue to sin after we get saved. Nehemiah 9 and 27, bring it up. This is the book of, ne book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 27. Therefore, thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies, who vexed them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee. So we, as a nation, we got to cry unto thee. We got to cry unto our God, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thou heardest them. 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 Yeah. Thou heardest them.
and according to thy manifold mercies, thou gavest them saviors who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. So we got to cry to our God. We have to cry. Give me John 9 and 31, right? Because he heard us. He heard us cry and then he gave us the Savior, right? But the only way God hears, is it comes with a condition, right? Give me John 9 31. It's the book of St. John chapter 9, verse 31. Now we know okay, that 13. God hears not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper okay, of God and doeth yeah, his will, right, then he hear it. So if we're sinning and we're praying and crying, he's not hearing it. But if, us, if we're not sinning and we're crying, he's going to hear us, then we send that Savior. So whether all the, the wealthy people, like you said, we have, they aren't the one designated to save us. I want to say as well. Mm. No, nah, that's not it. Uh, I mean, maybe before seven said, "I am your redeemer." You gotta understand. He sent us a redeemer. No matter who, it, it can't be anybody with no quote unquote wealthy money right now. We understand who our redeemer is. So even if there was to get together and build us. It's not going to work because think about it. Because think about it, right? We don't have many people try to do it, right? Um, I'll just say so far, so, so called black community, right? We have Martin Luther King. He he couldn't do it. Malcolm X. He couldn't do it. Huey P. Newton with the Black Panther Party trying to help all the all the quote unquote oppressed people. He couldn't do it. There's only one person who's really going to do it. You have it. Bring it up. Isaiah 47, chapter 47, verse 4. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. That's who's going to be the one to redeem us. Because many people have tried before. Even during, we have many multiple slave rebellions during the peak of slavery. The only one who's going to save us is the Holy One of Israel, the Chosen One of Israel. Who the world eight only called Jesus Christ, we understand his real name is Yahweh Hamashiach. He's the anointed. He's going to be the one to redeem us. He's going to be the one to save us. But it all goes back down to. What do you mean by after this Israel gone? I, 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 what do you mean by it's gone though? Uh, me, when you say I'm blown up, you mean like destroyed off the face of the earth? No. Because th that, that's going to be our land. We got to go back home. No, give me uh, Isaiah 14. And then um, go to, uh, I want to say, there's there's going to be a third temple built. Yes, there's, there's going to be Isaiah 16 and 10. Right now, as well. Right now, All right, but that land is still going to be there. It may be desolate, as in there may be no builders or structures, oh, but, oh, that, but that we're land we're is still going to be right. there. So give me Isaiah 60 and 10, whoever's there, and then Isaiah 14 and 1. Isaiah 60, verse 10. Right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. So the sons of strangers. The sons of strangers are the people who are not Israelites. They're going to build up our walls. They're going to build up the city, right? So you're talking about it's supposed to be going up. It's going to be desolate, but they're going to be the ones to build it back up. Keep going. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. And he said, in his wrath, because we made our father mad, he punished us, and now he have a mercy on us. And we're gonna use these other nations to build up our land. Give me Isaiah 14, right? You are there. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse one. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So we're going to go back to our own land. It's not being destroyed or taken off the map. No, but you know, you know what I meant. Like, 
No, no, I really did it. That's why I had to ask. I was like, whoa. So this gonna be cleaned out and we'll build it back up. Exactly. Because it's to be honest, it's already desolate. It it, it don't it don't ain't nothing like, like beautiful back, about like, it right like now. The ancient times. We're gonna like like the first temple was so beautiful and magnificent. It, it's gonna stuff. it's gonna be like that. I know, I know a lot of stuff that has been covered up, like painted over to hide, you know, to hide our history. But this one thing the world does that never did to the it, Jewish people, they never question their history. Psalms the eighty two. No, Psalms 83, I want to say verse 3. They never questioned their history to see if they were the real biblical Jews. But see, here's the, uh, here's the understanding, but we know, right? We know that, but, we know that. but they already know. Give me Revelation 2 and 9. They, see, wasn't, they, they wasn't there. They, they came there after the The, the Bell for a Declaration. And here's the crazy thing about it. The scriptures all through prophecy, it says the Lord is going to put us all back there together. The Belper Declaration is not doing it. All the so-called, all the so-called quote-unquote Jewish people didn't go back. That's how we understand. They're not fitting prophecy. Give me uh, Psalms 83 and 2 when it says I'll make a, they make a tumult, a crafty castle. So, uh, yeah, bring it up. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And they, it's talking about the other nations, against thy people, the Israelites. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Let us, so let's get rid of them and so they're no longer a nation. Also, give me a, go to Revelation 12 real quick, right? Let them cut them off from being a nation, meaning we're not going to understand. We're not going to understand where the Israelites for a long time, but that was prophecy as well. That's what slavery was about too. Uh, they studied us. Yeah, verse twelve. They studied us during slavery, and they, they know how to but attack us. They, they, they knew about it before slavery. Right. Christopher Columbus came over here with a Hebrew translator. Right. They already they already understand who we were. They already understand that the Puerto Ricans were the Israelites. That they were speaking Hebrew. You think about it, Puerto Rico, the Taino Indians. Right, it was only a couple of languages spoken back then, Latin, Hebrew, Arabic language. I, I, I would say it was a couple because by the time Christopher Columbus came in, that was in four, roughly what, 1400s. So that's really like what, maybe five, six hundred years ago? There were still multiple languages out here. Yes, the language we speak today is their language. We're no longer speaking our language. But as for you saying as in they made it a point to hide who we are, it's part of prophecy as well. Revelation 12 and 12. It's the book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Hold on. No, I'm just talking about the flood. Verse, verse 15. Okay. All right, verse 15. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. The serpent is it, it, talking about, um, it's in the so-called white man, right? The deceiver. He, he spread these lies out, talking about how we aren't guys, people, but Guys, people are quote unquote lost or the so called Jewish men or God's chosen people. They, they spread out these, these lies. That's, that's the flood that's coming out, right? Keep going. As a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Carried away by these lies. That's going back to Psalm 83, talking about let's make the Israelites no more a nation. Let's change them from being from the tribe of Ephraim and the tribe of Judah to being black, Hispanic, Puerto Rican. Nigga, spit. Let's hide who they are. Even now, Latinx. It's like every 50, 60 years or shorter than that, we get some type of new label. You right? Definitely. So I'm saying, let it be carried away, being carried away by the sea, by the lies that they're telling. Keep going. Verse 16. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth. The earth helped the woman, the earth helped the Israelites, and open her mouth. It's talking about how we find all these uh, archaeology. 
like Puerto Rico, right? That island had over 500 Hebraic artifacts found, right? Like if you look at the Puerto Rico flag now, they had like two other ones that was older than this. When we went over there for the first time, we seen different Puerto Rican flags back then. Cause y'all y'all were really the first place. Y'all was y'all from the island over to the to Europe. But but every since then the Earth opened its mouth. It's talking about the archaeology that's being found to back that black Hispanic Native Americans. We are the Israelites of the Bible. And going back to what you said, the Jewish people, you said they haven't done their research. I disagree. They know they're not. They know they're not God's chosen no, no, people. I'm not saying they didn't do their research. I'm saying that I'll be seeing a lot of like people that? know what's going on with them. You know, and people talk on YouTube all this, but nobody in power is really questioning their history on national TV. You know what I mean? To put them on the spot. I mean, but I, I already know what's going to be the outcome of that. Everybody, because you know, they run, they running it. We, we understand they're running it. Even right now, they could stop the war, America, you know, over there, what's going on. But they, it's proven fact now that Israel owns America. I mean, you know, the Jewish people own yeah. America. Because they can't even stop the Gaza bombs. Because they, they run in the show. We know the Jews. The, you know, those Jews, they want well, anything that what, they what, 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 what did uh, Kanye West say? The, the Jewish, hey, the, the Kanye, West, Kanye West, like you said, the marriage man, he exposed the Jewish people for who they is. And the Bible exposed them too. Revelation 2 and 9. This is the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. I know that works in tribulation and poverty. But so, now, he's saying the Israelites, I know y'all works in tribulations and poverty. What what works tribulation probably do the so-called Jewish man have? It, it, it ain't the same as us. Keep going. But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. See, you understand? The synagogue of Satan, Jewish man's the damn devil. Yeah. That's what the Bible said. That's what Christ said. My point is that everybody knows that. But that's how you know people. I would necessarily like, say everybody knows no, no, it, but. I'm talking about the people that's in, you know, that have positions like the news and all that. They know that. Yeah, the, 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 the so called elite. Right, they, right. That's what I'm trying to They never put them on blast. You but know what I, mean? I would but, say this, though. Why would the elite put them on blast when they understand that's who they are? The reason they're in control is because of them. Because right. at the end of the day, everybody want to have their power, right? right. They wanna, they get everybody want to have their power. And what I want, I want our people, I want blacks, Hispanics, Native, and some of the Indians to have our power. Give me Revelation 2 and start at uh, 25. Revelation 2 and 25. Whoever's there, you already you here? Uh, start at 26. The book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. And he that overcome and keep my works until the end. So it said, and he that overcome and keep my works until the end. He who go through all the trials and tribulations that are coming and keep his works is talking about the law, statutes, and commandments. We keep, our, we keep these commandments to the end. To him will I give power over the nations. He will have power over the nations. You want power over the nations? I want power over the nations. I want our people to have power over the nations. So what black and Hispanic people got to do in order to get power over the nations is go back to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Keep going on that. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And we're going to rule these other nations with a rod of iron. Because think about it. The same way the so-called conquistadors came over and destroyed y'all, is the same way they came and destroyed us. You feel me? But we understand God is not mocked. You got to reap what you sow. They came and destroyed us. I ain't saying if we're going to do all the wicked things they did, but if we're going to have power and authority, and we're going to rule with an iron fist, but we're going to do everything righteously. But in order to do that, in order to get in that position, it all goes back to us having to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. Right, we got to be mentally fit to hold that position. We got exactly, to have a, a ruling class mentality. Because right now, a lot of our people have a subservient mentality. They're comfortable being in the position they're in. They, they don't want to do what it takes to be a ruler. But in order for us to be rulers, it all goes back to this. 
say, I say like a third of our nation they ain't in no position right now. They're not. Even if you give it to them, they'll lose it the next day. They, they, they not fit for that. You wanna, but the, give me um Isaiah and thirty. It's around the team. Let me say they trust and oppression, right? The, right the, that's what I'm saying. Because, but because we trust and oppression, we ain't never gonna get it. We gotta be able to understand this is a wicked nation, right? I think right now that we just gotta prep our people, and when the Lord comes and cleans cleans it up, that's when we'll be back in that position again. Right now, I don't see it happening. Keep it real. Because it's good. It's good I agree with way, you. It's good to wake people up and pass it down. We got to pray. I'm with all that. Yeah. But right now, I think the only thing that these nations got to get dealt with first before uh, we can take our next step. And, and I think and it's I don't feel like it's, I don't feel like it's going to be that way. Yeah, because I think it's already happening. Because, you know, as far as like... The Valley of Jehoshaphat is coming to light because there's a lot of nations already battling over there. And I so already, you, already see it escalating. You understand the, the Valley of Jehoshaphat is other nations fighting us, right? Yeah, yeah, but they start with the Muslim nations. Which... The Valley of Jehoshaphat is other nations fighting us. But in order to get to that point, we, like I said, we got to prep. The only way we can prep for this battle is by keeping the law of statute from mammoths. That's, that's, what, that's, what, that's why I'm stressing right the law. That's coming to life is Ezekiel 48. Ezekiel 48? 38. 38. Oh, you, you, you're talking about World War III. I mean, I, I just like, World War III, that, that's bound to happen. It's going to happen. They talk about the ancient names, like Mega, you know. Gog and Mega. And then the Prince of Persia, we already know who's that, you know what I mean? Turkey and those, you know, they're already going to get they, they going to handle business of a week. This is, that's, it's really going down. But you understand, they're going to, quote unquote, handle business over here too, though. Obviously. Give me a uh, second Peter 3 and 10. But Russia right now is already on that, he's on that edge. The bear is ready to let it hey, go. Hey, hey. <laughs> the Russia, the Russia is ready to push the button to send nukes to America. Yeah. And the thing is, these people don't understand. These people ain't watching global policy. They're not watching global news to understand. America, right now, hey, nukes is hot. If people are, other nations are ready to destroy America. Of course they are. That's why they built the bricks. And it's, and it's prophesied. So you understand the bricks. Yeah. So you have understanding, brother. We got to hey, get, no, you, we gotta get you on it, though. The, the way I see the bricks right now, I think they're the ten dragons they talk about. Because those are nations forming an alliance to go against over here. No, nah, I, I, I wouldn't say the bricks are the ten dragons. The, the bricks aren't the, uh, the, the dragons. No. Give me um Zechariah 1. That, that's what I was looking at. Exactly. The bricks are the um. They're, they're going to be the four comp the four carpenters to quote unquote destroy that dragon. And that dragon is, is essentially the the western the western hemisphere. Essentially, it's, it's the the powers of the quote unquote western hemisphere, of Western Europe and America. And the bricks. I want to say uh, 18. 18. Yeah. 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 This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 1, verse 18. Then lifted I up my eyes and saw, and behold, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Uh, I'll get my eyes with four horns. No, that's not it. So he wants to tell you the, the, the middle. And these are the horns which I started to do so that no man is to come up to freedom and cast out the horn of the wind. It's talking about the carpenters. It's, it, the four carpenters. Yeah, the, yeah the, those are the carpenters that work. And that, that, that's what's going to be used to destroy. Yeah, Zachariah 1 and 20. Yeah, you read on 18, my bad, verse 20. Right. Because Zechariah chapter 1, verse 20. 
and the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then said I, what come these to do? And he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to pray them to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horns over the land of Judah to scatter it. So it's talking about that bricks. The bricks are the four carpenters. So even if you look at the Russian flag, it's a hammer to smite. These things are, it's crazy how the Most High God set it up. But those four horns, it said the scatter Judah. Essentially, the four horns of America, then you have what? The French, Britain, and the Spain. That, that's the so-called Southern Kingdom. Right, to get up on top. To scatter means to take, take we were longer in our homeland, and we're scattered as in we're all over the earth. We're scattered. But the bricks, they're they're going to be the ones to destroy to destroy those nations, the Western European dominance. That that dragon, that, that that's what bricks are coming to do. They're going to destroy that. And then you're talking about the Ezekiel 38 with the World War Three. That's going to happen. But the only way. Multiple prophecies can happen at the same time. But didn't the Lord want to destroy the Muslim nations? You said what? Didn't the Lord want to destroy the Muslim nations? What verse are you referring to? No, I'm talking about where I saw Jacob and Esau. Ain't Esau in front of the Muslim nations? Nah, Esau is a so called white man. I don't see, I don't see Esau as a white man. You don't see Esau as a white man? Go to uh, First Maccabees, right? Because two, two children are born out of one womb. Esau and Jacob. Esau and Jacob. And one changed over to. The, uh, I know they had two nations, but that was two nations spiritually. The two nations. Black are the, the so called black men, Native Americans. Esau is the white man. And I, I'm going to prove it to you. No, but one, one woman cannot have a white nation and a brown nation. Yes, I can. Go, Google. Um, a one, Google black woman born with twins, one white and one black. I never seen that. Man, it, it, it's, it it's could, throughout no, history. It could if it's a, what you call uh, an albino. So you, you you don't think albinos exist? You don't think lepers exist? The brother got the picture on the phone. Yeah, but lepers is part of albinos. So you, so you see it, right? Yeah. So but that's not those. What you mean that's not those? So look, look at that baby, right? Look at that baby. You you, you tell me that's not a you don't tell me that's not white. Nah. What? That 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 that's. Nah, that, that, I, that, 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 Isaac, that looks, that looks Jacob and Esau, stuff. right? Nah, nah, nah. Isaac, Jacob and Esau. So that's not. So so what is it? Nah. Nah, nah. But before before we go further, we gotta figure out what that is, because this whole that's premise. Uh, all right, pull, pull up another family. <laughs> like th this is not a once in a lifetime thing. You, all right, so you can do photography, but what I'm saying is that phenomena is not something that's like, oh my gosh, once in every thousand years. No, I know genetic, genetically, the genes are strong over in this angle, but that would be albino. I'm not talking about. Ain't nobody have no white nation naturally. No. It was crazy. I showed them multiple pictures. Like it's so, the same, same couple. So, so we have a multiple pictures, but you don't believe. But you don't believe two melanated people could have a white baby. But we done showed you throughout the history. The reason why I say that is they wasn't the ones when Esau started off Hellenizing people into Islam. Islam. So the first Islamic people were black people. Were black people. So, the first so but hold on, before because. I gotta understand. What makes you think Esau is not the so-called white man? Because not. What what gives you that reason? Here, here, here's twins right here. Here's twins, black and white. Twins. Black woman. You, you don't believe it? I, I can't accept that. I'm sorry. Why 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 can you not accept it? Why are they not having No, no, no. I want to know why can't you accept... Why, why are they not no, having black uh, child? Hold on. Time out. 
Give me Second Kings five and twenty-seven. I need you to find me. No, I, no, I, I'm gonna give you. No, you're not gonna find two white people having a black baby because that gene don't produce. Everybody understand the so-called melanated hey. gene. We can produce all types. Of, we can pr produce all types, and we can produce lack of melanin. But no lack of melanin can produce melanin. Melanin can produce lack of melanin, but no lack of melanin can produce melanin. So you're not gonna find two white people give birth to a black baby, but you can find so-called two black people give birth to a white baby. Yeah, but on a, on a recessive so, gene, they got a recessive gene, So, right? so when you're saying find two people, two white people to find a black baby, it's not gonna happen. Because we have a dominant gene. The dominant gene kills off the recessive gene. I understand that. But the thing is, that will be an albino child. But that's that's still that's still white though. Yeah, I accept it that way, but not no real like. What you mean real? I you, you gotta you got we gotta we was walking together. Like in our final is us. Go to um. A form of recessive gene. Go to Genesis. Go to Genesis. Yeah, let's see if you can agree that the Romans are doing. This. I, I was thinking, go to Genesis um twenty five right. When it's talking about the birth, right? Because it described Esau when he was born. But Esau got beef. You said what? Esau got beef with the with God. Esau. All right, Esau got and beef with like, God. So beef but we, can, but time out. Right we got to understand who Esau is, right? So we're about to we're about to go show who Esau is, because off of birth you're saying Esau the Arab, right? That's what you're saying. I'm not. I'm saying they're the followers of Esau. I'm not saying they're who, the, who, who. So who would you say Esau is? Yeah. We're Esau. Yeah. So how are the Israelites and Esau at the same time? Because they, if you coming out the same, if me and you are born, right? Let's just say me and you are born, right? Yeah, hold, hold, on. Hold, on, hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. How are this we Israelites and Esau at the same time? Me, Let me get it. Well, Yo, on. First one, then I'm coming back to the second one. The kingdom is just for us. It's real. The kingdom is just for us. It's real. These nations ain't nothing like us. It's real. These nations ain't nothing like us. So, had to earn her. Since birth, no church, I beat up. So, had to earn her. God, where we the church, we beat up. So, had to earn her. God, first and worst, I'm still up. So, had to earn We the soul, had to earn Creme de la creme. Dropping jewels and gems in the street like Tim's. We ain't none of them. Ain't none of them. Been putting in work. You check my film. Mindset used to be stuck on the M. I said, don't flip, now it's stuck on him. Jewish me, won't fuck with them. If it ain't black and brown, we ain't fucking with them. On your own. Build power base, suck get all T-Sun. Tell them, watch the throne. For the generation come, nigga, switch things up. Just hit a Christian with a minute.